My mother taught me that uh, once you uh, swear an oath or you take up a duty, you have to fulfill it no matter what happens. You have to end it to well. Oh. Who are you in this school? I'm the sports prefect, second deputy sports prefect. Are you the main sport prefect or the deputy? The Tell the truth, you are what? Second deputy sports prefect. They say you are the main sport prefect. No, I'm not the main. You are not the main. Do you know that a lot of people don't know who the main sport prefect is? It's yes. you that they know. Yes. The Do you know who told me? A teacher actually told me that. You know, the teacher actually taught you are the sport prefect of this school. So why, is, why is it like that? What games are you able to do? Okay, I can play basketball, soccer, volleyball, netball. Mm. Only them, maybe. At one game that I can do, apart from that, anything else I can do. Okay. Why do people think you are the sport prefect of this school? Because when it comes to work, I'm the only person. The rest won't come and help. When you go and call them, they won't come. Even if you go and call them, though, like they will be relaxing themselves as if they're not the sports prefect. So, yeah. I was standing here with your, your, one of your teachers and was like, you see that girl in red over there? She's the sport prefect of this school. This girl is so... That's, her, that's um, his attestation of you. She's so hard. She, he was just telling me, he said you are so hard working. Like from this morning, you know your school anniversary is happening. And since morning, since you step out. And today people have been uh, doing sports and all that. Since you step out of your dormitory to show up over here for the sports. You've been, you've been working up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. So for him, he thinks you are the sports inside of this school. But what motivates you to, to I mean, do all the work that you do? What's the motivation? My mother taught me that uh, once you uh, swear an oath or you take up a duty, you have to fulfill it no matter what happens. You have to end it to well. Because the beginning is very easy, but the ending is not easy. But still, you have to push up no matter the obstacles. And so I have to go ahead and finish it. That's hard. what your mom taught you? Yeah, that's what my mom taught me. That if you swear an oath, you have to fulfill it? Yes. And even if not a, an oath, anything that you take up as a duty, you have to fulfill it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And you held on to those words. Yes. So as a student leader here, even though you are not the main uh, uh, sport prefect, but then those who are actually before you when there's an activity and they have to show up and then don't, you will show up to do those. Yes, because anything will come and blame me. Everything, patience, where are you? Why this? Why that? Why that? I have to do it no who, matter who what. Do, who will do the blaming? Me, Mr. Tester will call me, my domain will call me, everyone will call me, will call me, patients, why this, why this not Do that? they know that you are not the main sport? They are away. But you are the one they will blame? Yes. Even this one, they blame me for not getting people to go into the uh, basketball courts for them to paint. <coughs> Whilst I was busy doing the volleyball courts, so I was alone. So it means, it, 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 even though you are not the main person, but you are the one the school counts on to deliver? Yes. Do you wish you were the main sport prefect? When, when I had the skinless sports prefect, I cried. Because when we went for the interview, I was there. I, I had the highest marks for the sports prefect. And when we went to Edmund's office, and when we came back, I was the last day, and I cried. And the sports mistress told me that it's nothing. To her, I'm the main, but the school, I'm the skinless, so I shouldn't worry. And moreover, the certificate, the woman said, I'm the first, she's the last, no. That's why it's sports prefect. That's the only thing I'm supposed to put in my school. I shouldn't do. I should just do my work. Yeah, that's it. So whenever there is a work, you make sure that you step on the field yes, to accomplish it. it. And I will not allow my sports masters and teachers to work whilst I'm there. No, it doesn't show respect. Yes. I like this girl. <laughs> you see, which tribe are you? Um. Half ever, half fancy. Half ever, half fancy. Yeah. Your mom is a fancy or ever? My mom is fancy, my dad is a ever. So a fancy woman told her that whenever a task is committed into your hands, you have to, you have to, don't downplay it. You say you should fulfill the, fulfill the task. 
and the girl has held on to this words, gracious word from the mother that even here in school, even here in school, even though she's, she's a sports preferred deputy, she's not the main, but when they are looking for the people to do the work and nobody is available, she will show up and make sure that the work is done. See, let's mark this girl out. If, if I am really hoping that one day, one day, you will, of course, you will definitely, you, you are in Form 3. Yes. You're going to come out of this school and join the real world. And I'm really hoping, if this girl ever show up in your institution that she wants to work, be, be rest assured that you are dealing with a trusted person, like a leader, a person who, when she says it is red, it is red. That is the sort of person we are dealing with here right now. And I, can't, I personally cannot appreciate her spirit and her commitment enough. Sister, keep it up. Eh? Amazing. Okay.